Well, hello, everyone. Manuel is going to be with us. He is, um, in fact, he's right now online. So I'm going to tell him that, Manuel, say hi. I am here, Riggs. Super, super excited to be here with you tonight. We have 65 people in the room and the number is growing. So it's been our biggest yet. And Manuel, I have to thank you because you did it. <laughs> it's, it's you. Thank you, sir. Well, we got an important message. We got an important message to share, share to the world. That's for sure. Yes. So without further ado, thank you, sir, uh, for bringing me back on point. I'm going to go ahead and uh, share this presentation, the slide deck, and then we'll be talking in background. And I have chat requests already, which I'll just keep an eye on. Victoria, hello. And then Kushal, awesome. So, so Riggs, for the, uh, for the people that, uh, that are here that haven't had the honor <laughs> of, I, I mean, some people that are here don't know who I am. We have on both sides, right? And then for the people that are on the other side that I recommended that they join this webinar today. Can you tell me your one minute elevator explanation about what the Origin Clear mission is and what we're here to do? And I know we're gonna talk about that more in detail throughout uh, today's webinar, but for these guys that are here just discovering your world and this incredible company that you put together for the last 13 years, can you tell them in a minute so they can be prepared for the rest of the webinar today? As the sword is commandante. <laughs> <laughs> at your service translation for those of you guys that don't speak spanish riggs has Thanks. a pretty good spanish accent himself thank you sir okay so i'm going to leave even though we're little tiny thumbnails right now but i'm going to leave it like that to talk to you a little bit about water is the new gold and why that's so and we're very fortunate i'm just going to go back a little bit in time i remember just after christmas i mean, well when i called you and i said this is it and we came up with this concept which is that water is the new gold Okay, it is the world's only vital, scarce, and recession-proof market. And we're going to show you not only how it's recession-proof, but how we are transforming this into true gold. So quickly, Origin Clear is a 13-year-old company. We have really worked hard to find a way to change the world and water. And, and when we say that, it's, it's not a, a light statement. Only 20% of the world's sewage is treated which is pretty scary, right? So in fact, I'll take this off, off share here for a second because we're having a little, a little moment. <laughs> so what, what we have here is a world that is serviced by a water industry that's a trillion dollar water industry, but it's only doing a fifth of its job. Think about that for a second. Now, America is treating much more than 20%, so is Europe, but places like um, the third world, uh, various countries, India, for example, they have people manually shoveling sewage. I mean, it's very, very tough. So, but it's, these are the same rivers that so, go into the same ocean that pollute the same world. So we have a mission here to make water much more safe. And by the way, do you know that they realized just today, I saw this news that, that the coronavirus has been found in water supplies and that's how they found it earliest. It showed up long before the infections of people, it was in the water supply already. So water supply is now a big deal. So, so Riggs, can you literally drink it? Is that, is that a reality that we have right now going on? Like if it's polluted water, is that possible? Because last I heard it was a skin contact uh, and then eventually going through the pores of the body, right? Somehow, right? Would that be possible? It's an interesting idea. Right. So it appears, and this is just preliminary, it's not in this presentation, but it is uh, an amazing fact, is that, okay, I'm going to get really explicit. COVID-19 has a oral to fecal route, all right? And so it literally ends up in the poop, just saying it, just saying it straight. And that appears to be one of the methods of propagation. This is very preliminary. The, and the reason why I don't want to make a big deal out of it on the infection prevention route is because there's nothing you can do about it. We, we social distance, we don't sneeze, we wear masks, all these wonderful things. But long-term, we've got to look at the water because that's a big piece of the problem that is not part of handling the pandemic immediately. But what I'm getting at here to rewind a little bit is water infrastructure matters. I can tell you for years now, I talk to people and I go, I'm in the water industry and they go, oh, that's super vital. It's really important. Water is so important. And then I start talking about sewage. 
right? <laughs> it's like people don't want to know about the sewage plants down by the Hudson River in New York. They, no, no, thank you very much. Well, it matters because we're interconnected and we're interconnected through sanitation. And that's where this starts to be important. Now, in my other presentations, which I won't get into because I want to make this relatively painless and short, is that we, we know that the, the whole building of big water systems that occurred post-war really started falling apart as early as 1960. And that ever since there's been a degradation and that the cost of maintenance of these water systems has risen. And lately in the last 10, 15 years, businesses have had to take up the slack more and more. We call that water autonomy. Water autonomy is where businesses have to do their own treatment. But guess what? If they're doing their own treatment, they can recycle, they can make the water better. So you have systems where the water incoming is treated, it's recycled internally, waters the lawn, waters the golf course, waters the shrubbery, et cetera, and then is treated so that it can be put in the groundwater again, sent down to the municipality, because municipalities, the cities will accept clean water. <laughs> they will. It's just the dirty water is overloading them. So this is a whole trend. I call it a mega trend, which please stay tuned for my other briefings. I do one every single week. The big webinar one is once a month, first Thursday of every month. And uh, that's when I have you know celebrity panelists like Manuel on board. But then every Thursday in between, I do an audio briefing where I talk about some of these important trends and illustrate them. So without further ado, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit into the relationship. At the turn of the year, I said, we've got to find a way to, in a sense, enter the world stage. And I called the only person I knew who really was a master at that, Manuel. I called him up and what did we do? We decided to make these briefings the focus of our communication line to the world. And then, of course, the, the virus happened and digital has become the new thing, right? It's, a, it's the other gold, right? We got water and then we got digital marketing and we're uniting these two. And if, if uh, you don't mind me saying, Riggs, I have uh, bought into your business and you know that I have myself, even though uh, you are a client and I, I protect my clients in, intensely, uh, aside from that, I believe in the mission so much that I opened up your business, your brand to my audiences, which I have people that follow me and trust me. These guys know anybody that's my, that follows me, they know I don't promote other people unless I really believe in them. That's just the way it is. But not only that, I have put a little bit of uh, the skin on, on the game myself because I believe in the mission. Uh, I, I know that one thing that um, for those of you guys that are for my audience, you can comment here below and let me know. I'm super curious about that. I see some people already that have commented. Uh, but if you guys are came from my emails, we have about 100 people here, uh, which is exciting. Anybody that came from my audience, let me know. I would love to see your name here pop up. But I can tell you that I, for one, before I met Riggs, before I understood what Origin Clear stood for, what they were all about, which, by the way, they are a public corporation, before I understood them, I took water for granted. It was this idea of, oh yeah, I've been fed my whole life, Riggs, that uh, the world is three quarters made up of water, right? So how the heck am I ever gonna run out of water? It doesn't make any sense. So it's, it's an area that I never had any concern for, right? Absolutely no concern, no worry. Uh, and then it started to become real, uh, what it is to really have drinkable water, uh, water that we can utilize every day. And that started to become a reality and I started to get the big picture about it. And uh, I know that um, Riggs, throughout the content, which I've been consuming uh, throughout the last couple of months, I've been seeing obviously a lot of uh, the overall ideas, water companies, how solid they are and for how long they last because they are that vital to the society. And what you put together here, uh, just so you guys know, anybody that's here, this is not a pitch webinar. We're not here to make you an offer, right? We're going to introduce you to this incredible opportunity that I personally am really passionate about. So if any of you guys in the future um, want to be a part of this organization, there are opportunities in it. I don't make a penny for you to be a part of this organization. I do believe in it. As you guys know, over the last uh, several weeks since COVID-19 has exploded, I have been focusing on providing value to the world. And that's what I'm doing and I refuse selling things or trying to monetize this market. This is just me. My, the way that I'm operating is 
just standing in front of a camera, providing value, giving value. And that's what I'm doing right now. This is value right here. So any of you guys that are here that were just introduced right now, you might've gotten a text message, a messenger broadcast. Maybe some of you guys, a lot of you guys came from a Facebook ad or whatever. This is an opportunity. This is a, an opportunity that comes along every several decades. And, um, and Riggs is somebody that I believe in. You know how it is. Like there's a jockey that rides the horse. I believe in the jockey. Just let's pay attention, guys. I'm going to listen to what he has to offer to us tonight. I'm super curious about it. I, I want to keep on looking for opportunities for us to be able to get wealth, especially in this era. What do we do? What are we going to, what does the world look like? Is it all walking dead right now? Are we all going to die because of the COVID-19? No. Opportunities come up in these markets. And I think that if you open up your eyes, you will be able to see them. If you keep them close and just listen to the media, you will not be able to see them. As simple as that. So I'm going to open up my eyes. I'm going to listen to you, Riggs, and then you can ask me. We can have conversations about it and then get deeper into it. But I'm super excited about what you're going to be covering with us today. Thank you very much. And I'm honored, Manuel. Now I'm seeing Kushal here. Is, uh, he's saying, uh, Kushal Agrawal saying, I am from India. It's 5 a.m. here. And Kushal, you know that in India, we have an amazing subcontinent that some of the most talented people in the world are from India. What our, our major partner, Permionics, is an amazing partner for us, has sent us a lot of business. But there's a problem in India, which is, you know, there's a $90 billion hydrological, means moving water, project up in the mountains, which has to happen. $90 billion to just stabilize the water flows up in the mountains. And meanwhile, people are moving the sewage by hand. The Ganges is terribly polluted. And so you know that this is something we got to deal with. But here's the thing, where are the budgets, right? They're being consumed by these $90 billion projects. And that's why it's very, very important that we empower local water users and businesses to do their own autonomous treatment. And it's more important than ever in, in India. And of course, it's all about it's being affordable. And that's where our partner, Permionics, will come in. But I just was doing a little thing to thank uh, India for being with us. And so uh, really how fast. Cool. Working, working. It says, I watched about 20 of Rick's videos today before the meeting here. That's fantastic, Ricky. Absolutely love it. He's somebody from my audience. Uh, I, I love it. Darn. Yeah, I, I've seen working for a long time, that's for sure, uh, following my content, my training and stuff like that. So that's great working. Absolutely great. It's so cool. Uh, you know, in fact, uh, JL Hicks wants to know about the reggae. So we will get right on to it. And there's a lot of points of interaction. The other day you were doing that famous Facebook video where you decided to give away your master class and up pops Dan Eulen on your Facebook watch. Well, dude, that's my friend from the 90s. Whoa. So we got a lot of uh, degrees of connection and I'm super excited. So without further ado, I'm going to move into the presentation. We now at 106 people. This is amazing. Thank you for joining. And we are now going to go back to share the screen. We've, we've covered that we're the new gold. Let's get on with it here and uh, talk about how that is, of course, was the poster for today, bringing water into the digital age. And that is my good friend, Manuel. I'm just blown away. This, this is a historic poster, my friend. It really is. But let's continue. <laughs> this is another um, that the AGM team came up with. It was so, so cool. Digital marketing has become the new gold. That was a promotion for AGM itself. And now we have the tie into what we're doing. So that was pretty cool. All right, continuing. Disclaimers, uh, we're going to be discussing the Regulation A offering, which is that an offering statement has been filed with SEC. The SEC has qualified that offering statement, which only means that the company may make sales of the securities described. It does not mean the SEC has approved, passed upon the merits, or passed upon the accuracy or completeness of the information in the offering statement. Please read the offering circular, which I'll cover shortly. And then Regulation D, that's simply for the accredited investors, of which of course, Manuel is one. He's become a uh, skin in the game, as he says, and I'm blown away. So that's excellent. And we're going to move on now past the, the boilerplate. Regulation offering. So this is really, really exciting. We have, and right there you see on Edgar, this is how you find it. You Google Edgar Origin Clear, and you end up with the offering circular, which was accepted right here on March 30th. 7.02 p 17 to 5 p.m. in New York. So that is what it is. Now, we are not publicizing yet. Why? Because the investment portal is not open yet. This investment portal is amazing. You will understand so much about the business 
So the, uh, the offering has been qualified by the ACC. So it is, we could take investments, but the investment portal is not open formally. And so here's what's going to happen. The team that is putting together this amazing, and Manuel, you've seen it, this amazing description of the company that really gets into all the things that we've done and will do, et cetera, the tie-in to the back end. And once that is fully tested and running, and we are, we're, running, we're running sample uh, sales right now on the back end, we will have an announcement. And I believe the announcement will be very soon, Monday, Tuesday. It's very soon. I'm not going to commit to an ex exact date, but it's imminent. Now, if you would like to ask questions about this, you can talk to us, right? And there's the number, 323-939-6645, extension 201. Delighted to talk to you or send an email to invest at originclear.com. But as I say, the investment portal is not open yet. Okay, so let's talk about what the regulation offering is, right? We now have two offerings and really the, the regulation A is an amazing one. So on the left-hand side, you see what Manuel invested in. He was an accredited investor and what he got was very nice deal with 8% dividend if paid every quarter. So it's annual 8% paid on a quarterly basis. Repayment of his investment is in two years. He gets a grant for half of his investment. So let's say that Manuel invested a full unit, which was $100,000. I'm not going to say he did, but let's say he did. Then he would have received $50,000 worth of stock with price adjustment at conversion to common, which means that 50% stock is often a pool to the side. And when he turns it into stock, it's, it's converted at the price. That's a wonderful offering for the accredited investor. But we know that most of the world is not. The accredited investor is probably about 1% of, of America. And I've felt terrible for years now that we have not been able to offer something good to the general public. Uh, Riggs, can you give me 30 seconds to explain something? Yes, sir. Uh, just thinking because I know my guys, right? I know people that are here. I know not all of them are coming from here. You don't have to stop sharing your screen. Very simple. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you because I went through that. Uh, I had to, uh, me being successful, already have generated millions of dollars, very successful, a lot of great businesses. Hey, are you a accredited investor? I don't know. You know, like it's just the way it is. So I didn't know that. And, and a lot of people that are successful, like, a lot of people that are here on the, on the line, I have a lot of people that follow my content, that follow yours, et cetera. They are very successful. They might not know this. So the long story short, all right, about these two sides, the current offering, it's uh, accredited investors. Well, uh, I, I, I'm not an expert in this area. I can tell you as a user, as an investor, right? Riggs has a lot more experience in this, obviously, uh, especially being the CEO of this incredible company but you're looking at having to prove that you have made $200,000 a year. You can correct me if I'm wrong on anything over the last mm -hmm. couple of years. Last two years, 200K in income, or you can have $1 million in assets. And one of those things is going to qualify you. Is that correct, Riggs? Long story short. Long story short is $200,000 last two years for a single filer, $300,000 for a joint filer, or a million dollars net worth, excluding your primary home. Okay, good. So that, that's, that makes it very simple. So that decides whether you're accredited or not, right? So mm -hmm. this regulation A that, that Rick's going to talk to you guys about a lot more the rest of the webinar, uh, it, it is that one of that big opportunities because this wasn't possible before. You know, you can only have people that would have $100,000 and then you get an incredible return. It's, it's a company, it's a water company. These guys are super safe. So you give it to them and compared to what you get with the bank, what does a bank give you? 0.01% or something like that? It's crazy. Well, that's exactly right. It is, there's a big yield problem. It's wonderful we're being given all this money. And uh, you and I, Manuel, we were both just running like crazy today, you know, qualifying for the Paycheck Protection Program that is, starts tomorrow. And it's a whole big deal. But here's part of the problem. All that money being given away means that if you're trying to get money from your money, it's a 0% world. So how do you get yield? Well, don't put it on the stock market, <laughs> please, because I believe that this uh, changeover in the marketplace, which I'll explain a bit further, is going to last. It's, it's not last. over. It's not it's over. Last. Absolutely will last. One of the, uh, the super mega qualities of a smart entrepreneur, business owner is common sense. 
As yeah. simple as that. All you got to do is look around and see what's happening and how people are changing their operating bases and how the laws and the rules are changing and how, you know, everything is moving to, you know, social distancing and everything, et cetera. So it's inevitable. It's going to change. This boost that we got uh, just last week, it's just a, a reaction to a bunch of fake money being printed out, $2 trillion, whatever amount that is. I mean, I don't understand. I'm not going to get into economics here. <laughs> we're, we're getting a huge boost on the economy that, that the, the country doesn't deserve, for whatever reason, it's happening. We deserve it, right? The entrepreneurs. But I mean, aren't we like in $100 trillion in debt already? I mean, again, I'm a, this is not my subject and you know that, Riggs, but I'm, I'm thinking that it, it doesn't make quite sense that the government just suddenly decides to give $2 trillion, right? When they own hundreds of trillions of dollars already. But hey, we're happy. And you and I have been talking about this for the last week. And we're going to take advantage of it and we're going to use it. And I think that we deserve it because we, more than anybody else out there, we're not living off of welfare. We're living off of productivity and the economy usually is fed by us. So it makes sense. But we don't know how long this is going to last because it's been going on for only a couple months, really, realistically. And and we've never gone through anything like this before. So it is unprecedented. So it might last a very long time that we are going through this recession. So it's about, that's why I'm excited about Origin Clear right now. I'm excited about Origin Clear because I believe in the mission. I know what you guys are doing. I believe in you. You are pushing hard with content, education, information. And um, I get a paycheck every three months. When I gave you money, <laughs> every three months you get a paycheck. It's there in the bank. And I know you have regulations like the SEC regulations that you have to give that money back at two years. And I mean, it's so very, very like well-structured that it's one of those opportunities that if you pay attention, you're going to be able to leverage in a big way. So that's the current offering right now, but the regulation A opens up the world, right? Charlene says national debt is about $23 trillion. Okay, so now we're going to be $25 trillion, right? It opens up that opportunity, the regulation A, because now you don't have to have a couple hundred thousand dollars in income a year or a million dollars in assets and you can be a part of this particular opportunity and just like me and like a lot of us put a little bit of skin in the game all right so that is the the layman explanation all right not rick's explanation my explanation as a origin clear fan and investor myself so go ahead riggs i'm very thankful i'm not paying you to do this because i'd be breaking all kinds of regulations but because it's really <laughs> No, no, but it's, it, but, but, but it's, it's wonderful because what you're I'm doing- I'm allowed to say it, right? I'm allowed to say it. 100%. 100%. Okay, Believe I don't me. Work, I would, I don't, I don't I would have, right. I'm not on your payroll. Um, I don't, I'm not an Origin Clear staff member, right? We're an external marketing department, right, for you. So, so I guess that we're in the clear, right? 100%. No, no. I would have, I would have hit the button and dumped you if, you if I was like, this is wrong. Believe me, because you know, <laughs> I have survived 12, this 13-year company, 12 years of public company. And we have survived because we did do always the right thing. And we have an excellent law firm in New York for which we pay with way too much money, but they have kept us unbelievably safe. And one of the things that we really rely on to survive is that we're transparent. We say exactly how it is. Thank you, Manuel, because you're saying stuff that I can say, but for example, somebody that we're hiring to get us leads could never say. So this is wonderful. I appreciate it. And I know it's totally unsolicited, so I'll take it. And by the way, people are raising their hands. You will not be able to speak. You, you need to chat. So instead of raising your hand, click on the chat button and we'll be addressing your chats. That's how we handle it in this webinar. There's just too many people. You know, we're up over 100 still. People are starting to drop off a bit, so maybe they're getting a bit bored. So let me continue because it gets interesting here. This is just dealing with the, uh, the backlog of this regulation A thing. So I'm gonna continue, it gets more and more interesting. Okay, all that's happening here is the current offering has been going on for a while now. And now the regulation A's offering is coming in. Basically, you can invest as little as $500 up to a limit of 10% of your annual income. It's all done online. And what it is, is it's a $25, think of it as a, it's money in the bank that's $25 a unit. We pay 10% dividends. now. On our current offering, we've now made 27 months of dividend payments, nine quarters. We do a good job of paying dividends and we do it on time. And that's been our discipline. And obviously that's part of our culture. And then furthermore, on the regulation A side, the 10% is set aside in a separate account for that. Now, 
it's redeemed at our option, meaning that we will give you back the money if we want to, but we have to wait a year. So you make at least your 10%. But how do you get out of it? Well, there are two ways. Ultimately, we plan once the offering is over to list this. It'll be called uh, Origin Clear Series M on the stock exchange, and it'll trade at $25 with that 10% uh, dividend. I'm not going to get into what it is. Okay, it's a bond. It's a bond. But if you don't know what a bond is, it's a company obligation that's backed by the full faith of the company. What it does is it carries that 10%. And that $25 will not go up and down too much. It's a very stable thing. There's also an option to convert this to shares. And it's not something we market because it's relatively complex, but the option is there. So that's what we're going to tell you right now about this. Stay tuned for the offering, the announcement. Be sure to be on our newsletter. Go to originclear.com and click and get on our newsletter because then you'll receive our announcements. This is what is on this screen, which, as I said, it's about the dividends. This is on that SEC filing. There are conversion rights and there's a redemption. I won't go through it because, again, it's, it's getting long and I don't want to lose our good friends. So continuing. The new landscape, it's big business and digital. There's a book called from by, by Dickens called The Tale of Two Cities. It was the worst of times. It was the, the best of times. It was the worst of times, right? We have a strange situation here, my friends. We have companies that are doing incredibly well in this market. Zoom, Netflix, Amazon, they're going crazy. And then there's a lot of people stuck with the physical uh, restaurants and so forth. They're stuck in the middle because they can... They have that model. And then on the other side is big business, cities and so forth. They're beneficiaries of huge amounts. You think that a lot of money is being given out to the Paycheck Protection Program. Guess what? The airlines have a pipeline of money to keep those people paid. So big business is protected. Those are the two things, digital and big business. Let me continue. First of all, we have a $2 trillion infrastructure bill being proposed. And I, I, th I thought it was really funny because this was proposed back on March 31st on Tuesday. It remains to be seen if Congress will be comfortable passing another mammoth spending measure after approving the emergency $2 trillion coronavirus relief bill. Yes, they will. <laughs> yes, they will. If they can find an excuse to shovel money out, they will. Take it from me. This is going to go down because... As Manuel said, this, we're only, this is only the first two months of this. You know, where are we going to be by Labor Day? So this $2 trillion infrastructure package, my prediction is it's going down. What does that mean? Well, I'll give you an example. Here's a purchase order we received back on the 18th. And this is from a city, a city in Texas. And uh, it was a nice, you know, half million dollar deal. And these are the deals that are doing really well in this marketplace. On the one side, on the regular water business side. Now, here's what's crazy. We're this like, you know, hey, we're the small water company. We're doing all these installations for businesses. But meanwhile, a year ago, we started building our manufacturer sales rep network. And those people work with municipalities and big companies. We're dealing with a very large corporation in Vegas, for example, that is actually more like $2 million. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Again, disclaim everything. <laughs> we can't promise anything is going to happen. But just to give you an idea... This corporation, which you would recognize in an instant, knows us by reputation and has told us they want us to be the sole vendor. Fully integrated, one source. So again, we may not get it. Anything can happen. You get these people coming in from you know, stage left and they, got, they, they, they cut the price, whatever. But the point I'm making is these are the deals that are happening on the big business side. And we are benefiting. Our Texas operation, which is about 25 people, is doing an amazing job. And they're continuing right through. They're busy staying on the phone and talking to everybody. And people are on the phone, places like these cities. And they're doing deals. They're putting out POs. So that's what we call a base load. But here's the issue. This business is not going to go 10x in one year. It can't. It's physically impossible. You got to rush around and do permits and architects and consulting and ship the stuff out. And we've speeded it up, but it's still a pretty slow process, just like building a house. So what is the other route? How do, we, how do we really ramp up to help the world, right? Because this is a base load. It pays the bills. I'm very happy that my team's doing it because it's good governance, right? But at the same time, it's the same old water industry that we're taking care of this, we're taking care of that. Not saying it's wrong. It's just not going to blow up. And so while big business is just fine and it's just going to go along, right? At the same time, 
what is the other side? If not big business, then what? Well, online is blowing up. Here's a friend of mine whose name I will not mention online, but he does this part-time. This, he has a full-time job and he does this part-time and his, he's, he was doing half a million dollars a year. He looks like he's gonna do a million dollars this year and he's just a regular person. He got into the Amazon business a year or two ago, whatever it was, and he's just been steadily doing it. He spends like probably an hour at night, two hours a night at night doing this drop ship. So that's what's happening. And anybody who's involved with e-commerce knows, oh my God, they're rationing. I'm trying to buy stuff prime today. And they're saying, well, you might get it in five days. Sorry, it's the COVID. So that online is blowing up. Okay, let's continue. Guess who? <laughs> we have our... Facebook Ninja, who decided to give the master's course for free, his $2,000 master's course. If you go to manuelsuarez.com slash expansion, manuelsuarez.com slash expansion, you will get this $2,000 product for free. And that, that, that to me, this still blows my mind, Manuel, that you did that. So kudos to you. I was watching that same video. It was historic for me. I was watching it. And he said, Everything's going to change now. Digital, the social media is where we're all going to meet, right? Where's Starbucks? Starbucks used to be the third space, you know, home, work, Starbucks. No, no, no. Home, work, social. That's Socializing is being replaced by social media. Wow. That's the reality. And that's going to be, it's just something that a thought that came to my mind. I actually just thought about that. And I'm like, that's just, that's what's happening. I mean, the, Messenger, the WhatsApp, the Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube is like exploding in usage right now more than ever. There's more eyeballs right now. It's incredible. Little message for you guys that are here still, over 100 of you. I did not pay Riggs to talk about this right now. I did not ask him to do this. I did not know he was going to do that. But it is a mission that I'm on right now. And it's a you know, sometimes people that are skeptical, which I know a lot of them, they, they will say, and they have been saying, there has to be some kind of catch. I bet you there's going to be an upsell, a cross sell, a down sell, a whatever sell. They're going to, he's going to try to monetize this thing. And man, I'm going to prove them wrong. And <laughs> it's, it, it's just, it felt like a responsibility for me just because, hey, wait a second. So what's the uh, coronavirus environment right now? Well, social distancing. Well, what does that mean? Well, can we all thank God and be grateful for the fact that we are not going through COVID-19 in 1990? I mean, imagine that. Imagine social distancing without the internet, without social media, without the ability to do Zoom calls and webinars. That would be like devastating to the world. So so the true. show can be on the road. We can stay on the road because we have digital. And you know, my, my prediction right now, Riggs, um, now that you mentioned this subject, the way I see it right now, I have gone really, really far in business. I'm just getting started. I'm still a work in progress. I have my, my, my good friend, Chick Correa. He calls himself a work in progress. And I believe that to be my case too. So I'm just getting started. But I can tell you that I have come this far because I've been more right than wrong. I believe that what's happening here right now, whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter. That's not part of the equation here. What's happening is just basically moving forward at a thousand times the speed, the internet evolution. That's what it's doing. This was going to happen, right? Yep. The world was going online. All these businesses were closing down. We already saw an inkling of it. We saw the Sears, the Toys R Us. We saw all these big boys that have been around for a long time close down. So yep. it was... It was trickling, right? It was happening, right? There were some domino pieces falling. It's just going to happen now, right? Are we going to just all disappear? No, businesses will continue thriving, but digital will determine which ones do and which ones don't. And that's basically what we have right now. And I think that that's the major opportunity with uh, what social media is. So I saw myself as, okay, well, what are we going to do? Well, we got to unite the human as human beings right now. That's, that's how we're going to get out of this. What's my superpower? My superpower is marketing on today's modern platforms. So I got to give it to the world because if you have a superpower and you don't give it to the world, you're being selfish and that's not right. And that's not fair because you have to help the world at a time of need. And that's a reality. 
at this point, we all just got to pull together, find opportunities, get trained, get more educated, and just figure out how we together get out of the situation that, you know, we were presented with that nobody expected, nobody saw coming. It's just the way it is, right? Yes. And in fact, you've got a 60 person marketing agency. And with the $2,000 product, you were doing just fine, right? In addition to your corporate clients like us. But here's the thing, you were doing just fine, but your audience was relatively small. And what you've done with this concept is you've dramatically opened up. So the this superpower becomes, you shared it with the world, which now empowers people. And we have the same idea with our thing. So I was just talking about how we were doing big water and that's fine. It makes good money. Everything's great. It pays the bills. I'm not complaining, but at the same time, how do we blow it out? How do we help the entire world? And that's where we're going with this. And before we leave this slide, and well, I want to say that we pay low five figures for uh, the privilege of working with your organization. And when you gave this stuff away, we were happy. And I was seeing all the Facebook posts by people like, I have paid $2,200 for the special Amazon thing. And I applaud this. People were totally in favor of you giving away what they had spent $2,000 for, which is how we feel. So we've, we've gotten a lot of support. That's for sure. Not only that, what, what you told us in that, that Facebook was my paying, I'm not going to forget my paying customers. You will get extra special things. And we have been feeling it. So I want to thank you again. We began this, the, the second quarter started today. So we've spent one quarter together and I believe it's only beginning. All right. Now, how does that work with water, right? What does that mean for us? Because I was, I was doing money TV this week and we've been posting the clips from us and money TV has been posted and water is physical, right? It's like a restaurant's physical. How do people, you know, how do people eat the food? Well, there are concepts like cloud kitchen where, where, people, where the, the restaurants can propagate the takeout. So there are brand new models for restaurants too. They just didn't do it yet. And they got kind of caught, right? Well, how does the same thing happening in water? How do we digitize the water industry? And those of you who know me know that in 2018, I was developing a way called water chain, which is a cryptocurrency. So that literally a grandmother in Korea, because Korea is very much adopting crypto, could press a button on her Samsung phone and fund a water project in Troy, Alabama. So that vision, we had to shelve it because we, something called crypto winter happened, but it is in the background. And this is the concept we're leading up to, but it's not water chain. Let me show you a little bit about it. It is about connecting investors with water projects. When this thing hit, literally two months ago, we went, oh my gosh capital is going away, except for what the government gives you. <laughs> capital is going away. So how do people pay for water projects? But the truth is there was a problem already. Water sales were incredibly slow because you go to an animal farm that's in business and you say, for $500,000, we'll, we'll create a zero waste thing that will create nice fertilizer on one side and clean water on the other. And they say, I'll see you in a year or two. They do this before the virus. This was no business as usual because you know what? Nobody was suing them. So pff, I can survive. So it stinks up the neighborhood. Pff, not my problem, right? It was very, very slow. So how do we speed it up? Well, we make these things self-paying. We connect the investors with the water projects. Now, one of the keys here is to make the water projects inexpensive. I'll talk about that in a second. But what does this remind you of? Connecting investors with water projects is like Zillow connecting buyers and sellers, but also landlords and renters and houseboats. And they don't care what the business model is, but they're there to connect, right? What are they, $30 billion? They're, they're incredibly high value. But what you can do here is you can go to Zillow and reliably, you'll see the price, you'll see this, you'll see that. And they're making out amazingly well. Now, they're an app. They didn't build the houses. They don't rent them out. They don't do anything. They just connect people. That connection is missing in the water industry. You, Manuel, for example, you might have some money to invest in a water project. Well, you don't have $500,000, but you might have $75,000 or $50,000, especially if it's very, very profitable deal. It's good yield. Remember, it's a yield market. So you want to make money on your money. Well, how do you do it? Well, it's very simple. The project's called Investor Water. And I believe that investor water, you're going to hear that. It is currently in our little, what we call skunk works. The skunk works, <laughs> they call it skunk works because the people at Lockheed who worked on the new, new stuff, 
never bathed, <laughs> it started stinking. But that's where all the amazing uh, stealth bomber and all these things came out of was the skunk works because they had total freedom to do whatever they wanted, zero budget. <laughs> that was the rule. Do anything you want, just don't ask for, for us for money. And out of that came these amazing technologies. So a skunk works is what we got going. Investor Water right now is in our skunk works. I have a team on it. And the team is going to be amazed to hear there's a team because there's literally one guy, Michael Mann, and then uh, the rest of us helping him. What is it all about? Let's take, for example, I've been talking to you guys about this trailer park. My good friends who have a trailer park, I'm not going to mention them by name, but I know them personally. They have a trailer park in Troy, Alabama. That trailer park has a lagoon. All the poop goes in a lagoon. And those things you drive by this highway and these, these green, you know, like these green ponds. It's poop. Naturally, that's not what we do anymore. And so the, the uh, local environmental protection division in, in Alabama has said, uh, you need to fix that if you want to sell it, because they want to sell it. And they said, but we can connect to the, it's going to cost us $500 to connect to the sewage. The city said, no, 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 no. We're not taking that. But they were stuck. Why wouldn't they take it? There's 50 units or 100 units in this trailer park. Why don't they get the sewage connection? I told you municipalities are falling apart. We just don't know it, but it's happening every day. So my friends called me up and said, what can you do? And I said, well, gee whiz, it's an awfully small project for us, but we'll do it. Well, what we came up with was a solution that's less than $100,000. It's a brilliant one. Imagine a diving platform that you throw out into that lagoon. And underneath that is a whole iceberg of what they call biofilm. And it's all extremely high-tech ceramics. I'm not going to get into what it is, but... It has a bacteria culture, beneficial bacteria. It's like your stomach. And it sits there and it converts all the nasty stuff. Actually, it's more like an intestine, really. It converts all the nasty stuff into better stuff. And a couple months later, guess what? No more ammonia, no more stinky smell. The phosphorus has been, has been handled. And uh, the what's called the oxygen level has been restored so that it actually can process the nasty stuff. That water can now be connected to the municipality because it's quote unquote, treated. And you know what? We got the approval of the permitting agencies for the solution. Guess what? No digging, no earthworks, no uh, pumping stations, no pipelines. Just put a diving platform out in the middle of it. It's a 20 amp connection with a little pump and just let it do its thing. So now we have an elegant and expensive solution to a problem these people had that would have cost far more. Guess what? People like Manuel are willing to invest in something like that because what we're going to do is we're going to rent it to our friends in Troy because this thing is modular. It comes in on a truck. Well, it can go away on a truck. So now we can rent it. So now it remains our property. We charge Airbnb rates, right? Short-term rental versus the long-term. And the they're happy because guess what? Their problem's gone away. They didn't have to come up with whatever it is, 75,000. And so everybody makes money. Manuel makes money. They make money. And also, because Manuel invested in our company, we will give him, he doesn't know it yet, a 15% rebate against his investment. We'll eat 15% for him to come in. And so he goes, oh, that's 15% of my investment. I can apply to this rental. All of a sudden, you should see the way the spreadsheet works. The, the ROI is unbelievable. So that is the model. It's the idea of having inexpensive, take that idea and now put it in a hog farm. Do you know that a 2,500 cow dairy farm puts out as much poop as the entire city of Miami, 400,000 people? And by the way, there's millions of head of cattle, of pig, of, of sheep, of poultry. Think about the poop. The municipal problem is nothing compared to that. The same solution, it can go in their manure lagoons. And now those horrible manure lagoons that overflowed in, in North Carolina during the hurricane and, and destroyed neighborhoods, they'll be clean. Now, we're not creating the zero waste solution with the fertilizer and all that, but that will come later, right? So Manuel helps us put that in place. Now, it's not Manuel. We're actually working with a partner in Wisconsin who's doing that. We have an investor already that's moving fast. And then we have another business that I don't have time to get into, but we're testing with three verticals, three specialized instances where we have an elegant, inexpensive solution. By inexpensive, I mean $100,000 or less, right? And so the end user does not have to do a multi-year commitment, does not have to do a credit check, doesn't have to do anything, just first, last, and security, just like Airbnb. That, to me, is a revolution. Now, we're not going to keep doing these. 
This is what's called proof of concept. Airbnb started with two apartments in downtown San Francisco. They proved the model, then they went to Palo Alto and got their millions. What this is about is just proving the model and then letting all the water companies out there, and there's tens of thousands of good water companies in America and elsewhere that will happily do this. And we find the investors, we connect them up. That's the beauty of the model. So that is what we call the, this investor water, which is how we've digitized the business. And again, it goes back to the Zillow of industrial water. Basically, I wanted to open it up a little bit for discussion. As I say, I'm just going to tell you guys right now that you, you can always contact us if you want to invest as an accredited investor. Here are the numbers, 323-939-6645, extension 201, the brilliant Ken Berenger. Michael Mann, who's working on investor water, is also helping out extension 206, my assistant, Devin Angus, extension 116, or just send an email to invest at originclear.com. Please make sure you're registered for next week's briefing because more exciting stuff is coming. I can't, an hour is not enough to tell you. So back to discussions. I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to go into personal mode here and we're going to take a look at some of the chats. So Manuel, what do you think about that, huh? I'm super excited about it. I got Robert Castillo asking a question there. It says your minimum yes. investment amount is 500. Correcto. So here's the thing. Once the uh, portal is up, you'll be able to click on it and you say, yeah, um, whatever I'm going to invest is less than 10% of what I make in a year. So if you're making uh, $5,000 a year, you can invest 500. It's pretty easy, right? By the way, if you're an accredited investor, there's no such limit. You could like, let's say that you're making 200,000 a year, or you're accredited. Well, you can invest a hundred thousand in the, in the regulation A, but for everyone else it's $500 and we're going up from there to whatever you want but there's a limit of 10% of your annual income unless you're accredited. So that's that part. And, and, and they, do that, they do that, the limit of the 10% because the SEC is trying to put some regulations so people don't go to invest it in a particular company or what's the idea behind that? Right. So when 2013, when the Jobs Act was, was, was implemented, that was a rare time when President Obama and the Republicans worked together. And um, we forget that <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Collaboration with Twitter is gone. But anyway, we won't go down that road. So what happened was Congress said, you know, you're going to open it up to unaccredited. But then the SEC went, okay, wait a minute. That's all great, but we got to make sure that, you know, and so they put these rules together. And this is one of them to make sure people don't go completely nuts. All right. Uh, all right. Kushal, you cannot, right now, the regulation they're offering is not open from, for international. You're going to have to have a U.S. address at this time. We hope to change that in the future, but that's where that is. Can you send out notification emails to all attendees when the portal is up and running? Yes. If you were registered for this webinar, you will get a notification that the registration A portal is up and running. When is Can that? Us, you, you have an idea, Riggs, as to when do we expect that? Because I'm like, okay, good. So when, right? <laughs> well, okay. I know um, you can't say much. I know, like, I know. No, no, no. We've, been, we've been testing it. There's a few people who were stacked up. For years, literally, we have a backlog of people like, I want to invest. And they, they weren't accredited, but we kept a file on them. And we've been telling them, okay, you can do it. So we've been testing it with those people. So it's not, a, it's not publicly available, but we've been testing it with people who've been around forever and are our friends. And what I can tell you is that it works now. Fund America is the backbone of this. And the Fund America uh, process, the, the payment processing works great. It's fully compliant. You go through proving who you are. It doesn't take long. And you can, it'll take credit cards, debit cards, wires, or a, a automated clearinghouse, ACH, all that stuff. Send in a physical check. It's all good. So that works great already. What we, and we have a great front end that you will be blown away by the funnel because it explains everything about the business, what we do, all the videos, my brother drinking the water that came out of an all well. And I saw that video. Drinking it? Yeah. Oh my God. It's all there on that funnel. What we haven't done is we just needed to hook it together and make sure that the, we're just, we just don't want this thing to break, right? So my opinion, it will be Monday or Tuesday when this thing is up and running. Oh, so it's around the corner. It's around exactly. the corner. Exactly. Well, yeah. in the inter on the internet, that's like years. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, that's that's going to be around just in a few days. That will be super exciting. You have a good marketing team. Your marketing team is going to make sure that everybody finds out, right? Uh, I've heard that AGM uh, has a little you know, thing going on. Actually, I have to say that we, we have we coronavirus actually, uh, um, we, a breakout. No, no, we're okay. We're okay. We're, we're I have working. to say we're incredibly banned. We're ex we use up HGN's bandwidth like crazy. We we get the CMO, Jorge Rodriguez, the CMO of AGM is working for us. So I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
I'm good with it. You're Bye. getting the best of the best. Uh, we're, we're all in it with you. Uh, there's a great question here from Kevin that we missed, which is higher up that says, can you break down the general public offering again? Absolutely. Okay, it's very, very simple. You invest whatever it is. Call it $1,000, right? $1,000 will earn you 10% a year, right? So $1,000 is $10 a, uh, $100 a year, right? Now, it's broken in monthly payments. So you get 12 monthly payments, add, add up to 10%, and that comes automatically. So people, we were showing it to, to our people, professionals in the industry, they go, wait a minute, nobody's doing 10% for reggae. Now, why would Origin Clear do this? It's because you think that rates are low. Sure, they're low. I'll give you an example of the deals that we were handed. We were trying to buy out another company and these Wall Street guys said, no problem. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll furnish the, the, the $2 million to, to buy the cash part of the company. But you got to repay it in two years, $2 million, two years, and we'll take 30% of your company anti-dilutive forever. We'll own 30% of your company. I went, um, no. <laughs> so instead, we're willing to pay 10% because for us, that's inexpensive money because these are our supporters and it's not these wall streeters that will, they want to take everything. They are so greedy and they're, you know what their justification is? Got to take care of your own family. Right? So with that said, uh, Kevin, it's 10% that's paid. And that's like, like, you know, you invest money with Ford, right? They have what's called a bond, full faith and credit of Ford is behind that bond, but they're not going to give you no 10%. They're going to give you, you know, half a percent these days. And is that every month or every quarter? How do you guys do it? It goes every month. So what we do is we've disclosed it in the offering that we're going to set aside that 10% right off the bat. It just goes in a de separate place. And believe me, we when we say we do it, we have to do it. Otherwise, uh, you get in trouble. You absolutely you get in trouble. There's something called Sarbanes Oxley, which is I get I get to go to the big house if I if I uh, do stupid things. So I don't plan to do that. So, so what that means is that we do set aside that 10% and that's a pretty state, at least for the very first year. And after a year, we can redeem it, which we may, if we get cheap money, right? Or we'll let you keep earning it. And as I say, you can convert. Now there's, what are the, what are the exits from this? Number one is we would repay you what you paid originally. And then you stop getting the 10%. So you got your cash. That's good. Or we intend to list it on the over-the-counter market and you can sell it if there's a buyer and that's totally uh, subject to the stock market. We don't guarantee that. And the third way is, is that you can convert it to shares in Origin Clear. We're paying you to wait is what it is. We're paying you 10% to wait. And so one day you say, you know what? Riggs was talking about that stupid Zillow thing. I'll be darned if he didn't do it. And the stock's going crazy. Well, I think I'm going to convert this. Thank you very much. And you convert. Or not. It's up to you, right? We don't want, if you convert to stock, there's no guarantees. So we're going to give you the 10%. That's solid. That's backed by our full faith and credit. And at the same time, and we've been in business for 13 years. We know how to stay alive. I have all kinds of tread marks from staying alive, but we've done it. So we proved that we can do it. And then if you think one of our cool things is happening, all of a sudden we go, whoa, they turned into, Investor Waters turned into the new Airbnb for water. Okay. I think I'll jump and I'll turn it into stock. So that's your option at any time. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Okay. Frandy wants to know email and number. Okay. Invest at originclear.com. Ravi wants to know, I have invested in this years back and this went south. What is the guarantee this time it will go north? Well, you're not buying our common stock. And here's the problem. We were like a biotech. <laughs> years and years. The, in, the water industry takes 12 to 15 years to adopt a new technology. Oh my God. And we didn't know start the water industry until uh, you know, 2015 or 2014 when we went, uh, the long story, but anyway, we've not been in the water industry that long, we're five, six years. And I don't want to spend another 10 years trying to get our wonderful technology in use. So we built a nice little business that works okay. And now we're doing this connection thing. Meanwhile, you don't have to bet that we're going to succeed as the stock because the stock has been feeding that development all these years. Maybe it'll take off, maybe it won't. We don't guarantee anything. We don't think you should look at the stock, frankly. But you're not getting stock, you're getting a preferred share that has 
a, a liquidation preference over common stock and over dividends paid to common stock, which we don't have. So you're in a relatively strong position. And like I say, you do have a liquidation exit, liquidity exit rather, excuse me, liquidity. You can turn it into money in those three different ways that I told you about. One of those passive, we have to do it. The other two eventually will happen. Okay, so that's why we think it's a good thing. What is the exit strategy? Do you have plans to go IPO in the future? We are a public company already. Our version of IPO is to end up on the NASDAQ and to uplist. And I can tell you that I could financially engineer an uplist of the NASDAQ right now, but we wouldn't last. We would crash right back off. We have to have all the support. We have to be cranking as a business model for it to happen. So the exit strategy, frankly, is to A, continue to build a solid company on the big business side with more and more, we acquire other companies, do all that good stuff, right? And then the other part of it is this very interesting direction where we hook up regular Main Street investors instead of being a real estate investor. And by the way, oh my God, I feel for you if you're a real estate investor because every tenant in America, April 1st, decided not to pay their rent. Lord have mercy. Subway just told every single one of its locations, landlords, we're not paying you. Sorry. Force majeure, right? Force majeure means we can't, ha we can't, we can't, it's like a nuclear holocaust. It's not like real estate, right? Yeah, so the tenants, the tenants are, are whether that's corporations and, and um, or, or actual homes, right? Family homes, these guys are not getting any income and they're not able to pay the rent. So I, I would imagine that part of this like gazillion dollar bailout has some kind of help for these people, but Still, I can imagine the nightmare that it is for the investors that have properties that they were renting out, that they have mortgages. That's, that's a challenge by itself, that's for sure. It's going to ripple through for sure now. So what we decided to do is when we do something, it's not real estate or anything like that. It's like rent, you know, the rent-to-center model, which is renting out TVs and people pay, I don't know, $12 a week or whatever it is. Well, they could have bought that TV. Oh my God, but they don't have the cash, so they rent. That's kind of what it is in the water industry. Either you got big money, you take forever because you got the money, you're not in a rush, or you don't have the money and you just somehow deal with the stinky pond. Yes, Byron, uh, thank you for wanting to invest. Would you please call the number, which is 323-939, uh, I'll, I'll put it right here, 323-939-6645, and it's extension 201. All right. Now that number, you will not be sold on the reg A. We, our people do not sell. We're not allowed to. We're only here to inform. Okay. So that's informational or send an email to invest at originclear.com. But we record, it's very important. We record all these interactions or we will, because we want to show the SEC that we're not trying to sell you. It's very, very important. Thank you, Stevan, for stating there's a deferment policy in advance. Beautiful. Other claims, I hope your other claims are not exaggerated. I'm already an investor. Well, Stevan, thank you for being an investor. And if you're accredited, come on over and get your price protected deal. We don't sell stock there. It's again, it's a secured. Manuel invested in a secured note that had free stock attached. Don't buy stock. Don't buy stock. Don't buy stock. Get become a creditor of Origin Clear. We've made 27 months of payments on our on our credit investor thing, we know how to do it. So, so the CEO, our... the CEO of Origin Clear is telling you to not buy stock. All right, that's, <laughs> not, that's not the route. So just mark those words, important words, right there. Yeah, when OCLN is on the run, do what you want, but you're better off going in the reggae. Okay, we're going to wrap this thing up. Yes, and uh, I don't know the rest of it because it kind of does dot dot dot. Are you currently working with major states that have clean water problems, such as CA municipalities? We have a business in McKinney, Texas that is amazing, that works, that does large projects, small projects, medium projects. We have the million dollar projects. We've, we've disclosed them before. What we, what we have here is a business that is very solid, but it does not explode. And that's where we're getting into the investor backed water, water projects, which are very exciting. You'll hear more about it. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's been amazing. I love you. This is. Manuel, thank you for making this so interesting and exciting and being such a champion of uh, the Reg A, which is going to happen. Make sure that, that you check your spam folder. Uh, in Gmail, go over to promotional and make sure that you move that promotional over into regular, right? 
because all our stuff, because it's promotional, goes into promotional. So just make sure you're getting it because you will get updates. And if you somehow don't see, hear anything because it went to spam, you can always go to Origin Clear and there will be announcements. They'll be on the web. It does be lot, lots of communication. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Manuel. This has been amazing. Please join me next week, same time, 5 p.m. I guarantee you it'll be shorter. The, the audio ones are more like half an hour, but I give you the minute to minute updates and it's interesting. You just want to have my, my face with this weird blue background and, and this weird kind of green screen thing. So thank you. And thank you, Manuel. Everyone stay safe. Be calm in this. Uh, remember, it'll all be over. JL Hicks, thank you. I enjoyed it likewise. Been a great pleasure. Talk to you My soon. My pleasure. Talk to you guys next time. See be you safe. Soon. All right. Bye-bye.